For the two-day summit at the um, AU, which ended on the 29th of January, um, the main decisions that were taken first and foremost included um, the establishment of a single Africa air transport market, um, which intends to boost the aviation and tourism industry amongst the uh, members of the African Union, and as well as increasing the connectivity which exists currently between the member states of the African Union. Currently, there are 23 members of the AU which have ratified the, the establishment for the single, Af single Africa air transport market. Now, secondly, the establishment of the continental free trade area was one of the areas which was also agreed on. If you collect at the last AU summit, um, which was held in Addis Ababa, it was agreed amongst the member states that a continental free trade area be established amongst um, the, the member states of the AU and on the continent to boost the volumes of trade that currently exist um, on, on, on the continent. So it was agreed that God willing on the 21st of March 2018 in Kigali, an executive council meeting of the AU will be held there where the legal instruments and the agreement surrounding the continental free trade area would be signed. So, God willing, from the 21st of March 2018, the continental free trade area would be established. And thirdly, the AU also, the, at the AU meeting, discussions centering on the reforms of the AU, financing of the AU, and also the matter of Libya, where the current situ uh, the security situation in Libya, as well as the issues to deal with drug, um, the human trafficking were also uh, um, um, discussed. As much as possible, all member states of the AU resolved that whatever they can do to at least ensure the resolution of the security situation in, in Libya and also as much as possible halt the trafficking of persons from sub-Saharan Africa who, um, in their desperation to get to Europe, um, transit through Libya, at least, um, whatever what, what be the case, that, 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 that kind of, that kind of um, situation has to be brought to a stop. But before the president got here, he had to transit through South Africa to attend the funeral of his great friend, um, Hugh Masakela. Um, the president made it clear that um, on the 7th of January, when he was sworn into, into, into office, um, Hugh Masakela was one of the very few people who came to perform both at the inauguration and also at the inauguration dinner that was held um, for him later that evening. And he felt it right that for somebody who he's known for well over 50 years and somebody who has been one of his great friends to pass away, he deemed it appropriate for him to at least pay his respects in person to him, at least bid him farewell.